at the 2017 Giro d'Italia. Lasti got a look inside the Bora kitchen truck at the same time as doing his bus tour. But I thought it'd be really cool to have a more in-depth explore of their kitchen. And they've let us check it out. So let's go and have a look. Apparently this is called opening the raffer. Well, this is quite something, isn't it? What a beautiful bus on the inside, all laid out in wood, beautiful dining area, and it's set for dinner already. And I have to say that their dessert is making me feel a bit hungry. They've got a chia pudding with strawberries on it, yum. Anyway, you can see they've got a lot of storage space in this bus. I'm gonna go straight in to one of these under seat storage areas. God, it's heavy. Wow, there is a lot, a lot of oat flakes in there. Um, I guess that these guys eat porridge quite a lot. Got the Weizenklier, half a flocken, muesli, noch mehr muesli, noch ein bisschen muesli. Lovely. Oof. That's really heavy. I imagine this bus burns through a lot of fuel. I'm gonna check out what's in this one as well. Pasta, mostly pasta. And some more pasta and some lentils, interestingly. Yum. Oof. Now, I think that this bus has been really well designed in terms of storage space. So not only do the seats fold up for storage, but the table folds back. So when the riders aren't eating, they can have team meetings here, have a bit more space. Nice wall decorations too, very inspirational mountain art. Tinted windows to keep the sun out and presumably keep the, the gaze of onlookers out. Oof. Yep, there's a lot of olive oil, nut butter, jam, yum. So this looks like a very important part of any team, the coffee corner of their kitchen truck with a gleaming rocket espresso machine. I don't know actually how anybody keeps a coffee machine this clean. It must be almost constant work. They've got a grinder so they can freshly grind their beans. Uh, looks like they have some pretty nice coffee as well. Got real coffee cups, which is always quite a treat. I personally do not like throwaway coffee cups. So I'm very happy to see some genuine heated, no less, coffee cups. It's for cappuccino, I would guess. Little espresso ones. I'm guessing that Dinsler is their coffee sponsor, given its prominence in this corner. Let's check out what's in the drawers. Yeah, there's not much in that one. That looks like it's... Yep, it's where they chuck away their old coffee. Oh, that is saucers and little espresso cups. Tin slid, remote control for the TV system. A pencil because you never know when you need to write something down. Very sensible. Hand sanitizer, very important as well, not to get sick on tour. Cutlery, some tea bags. Green tea, rooibos, schwarz tea. Ooh, fennel tea. I don't like fennel tea, it's disgusting. So we've had an explore of the dining area, but what I'm really excited about is the Bora Hands Grower kitchen, because it looks pretty exciting. You never go into a kitchen though without first asking the permission of the chef. Hello, Silvio. Hello, Emma. Can How we come you? in? Of course, come in. Thank you very Welcome much. Welcome in the Bora Hands Grower kitchen. Thank you. This is what they call the cooking revolution, apparently. Well, tonight I have some uh, beetroot salad with apple and some herbs and some rucola later on top. And uh, main course, I will make a steak, some asparagus. We have uh, asparagus time in Germany, so they're not at home, can eat. So I brought them wow. to here. And that's I will pretty special. Some, so spargel, yeah. spargel site in Germany is very important. It's asparagus season, and yeah, you have to eat asparagus breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think, right? Only in the rest days, breakfast, lunch and dinner, uh, normal race days, breakfast and uh, dinner. Great. First of all, I will show you the Bora system. It's quite a revolution system because the fan you have not on top like you used to. You yeah. have it on the side, which cool. just makes much yeah. easier, much better. You don't uh, put your head on the, yeah. on the fan, you know, and yeah. I have two inductions. I have a wok and I have a tapan for steak, fish, grilled vegetable. Cool. It depends what I have, what yeah. I have on the menu. Yeah, next Juicy. I have uh, my all my spices, you know. What's the most exciting, unusual? Unusual, uh, well... Um, spice you brought? 
Star Anise. Star Anise, yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. Not everybody likes it. It's very uh, cool at the moment, Star Anise, yeah? It's yeah. very candy. Kind of what Fleur else? Some Floyd de Sol, of course, some uh, fennel, oh, fennel yeah. seeds. As well, I have a vacuum machine for the riders get after the race. I get some after race food like pasta, potato, or uh, rice. And this I have here. So I've oh, my wow. system, they get some on the bus and the let's bus see, driver. Let's, let's just show guys this. So this is incredible. So Silvio cooks like a proper meal for the guys and then he vacuum packs it in his own vacuum packing machine and then has it perfectly prepared and like, you know. Exactly, and the, the bus fresh. driver, he just put it in the water like a sous vide and uh, yeah. that's good because cold food in the stomach from the rider is not, it's not good. Okay. As well, we have the hands for a sink, convect the mud, you can steam, you can heat, you can, yeah. You've got bread in there at the moment. I have bread in the moment, right. Just warming so, up for dinner? Yeah. Nice, yeah. warm bread with dinner. Yeah. Lovely. Here I have uh, two of our freezers. Um, I bought some from Germany because uh, here, for example, we have some uh, organic chicken, also some bread from our baker at home. Because in some areas during the tour, you don't know what quality you find. And, yeah, meat and uh, bread. Yeah, so exactly. So. German bread is quite different to Italian bread, I found. Yeah, not so sweet in it, so we are, we only wheat breads so only spelled. Oh, right. And, yeah. Is that and because so you it's have always an emergency and, uh, yeah. and so. But is that because you have gluten intolerant riders on the team, or right. you just? That's one thing. Another thing. Uh, Wheat is not not that healthy, you know. Yeah. So okay. that's why we don't use. I don't also use no sugar in here. Yeah. Well, thanks, Silvio, for letting me in your kitchen. Yeah, I can see welcome, you're welcome. in the middle of making dinner. It's a bit of a stressful time, I imagine. Wish I had you as my cook. We were gently encouraged to leave the kitchen truck because the Bora team chef was getting a little tetchy about approaching dinner time. And they do say, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fascinating kitchen truck tour. If you'd like to see some other GCN bus tours, why not check out our whole list? For example, here is Dan taking you around the Lotto Sudal team bus in 2017.